Hey, all you producers out there. Today we're doing drums. I'm doing drums. You're watching an Instagram video. <laughs> There's a bunch of different ways you can do drums. I'm gonna show you one particular way using the plugin Battery, super popular drum program. Uh, I'm gonna use it to make a little, little trap drum guy on some guitars that Josh, Josh was nice enough to give me. Uh, let's get into it. Such a nice guy. He's such a nice guy. Mm. All right, so here we are. This is the little. This is the guitars that Josh gave me. I think it's like a couple things going on here. He's probably got Just a few little nudes. Look at those tasty guitars. Look okay. At those tasty guitars. So here, uh, I use Studio One. You can use obviously any DAW you want. So here it is. Here's the basic layout of battery. Uh, these kits over on the left side are just the stock kits that come with battery. Uh, you can go through them if you want and play around. Sometimes there's some cool sounds. Um, but I'm not doing that today. When I'm just looking to make a quick and dirty little trap beat, uh, what I'm going to do is use my own sounds because like every good producer, I have gigabytes and gigabytes of drum sounds that I'm never going to use because I just use the same few samples over and over again. And you're lying to yourself if you say you don't do that. You know, I heard a good producer trick when you're going through samples and you're like listening for new stuff. When you hear snares that you don't like or sounds that you don't like, you should just delete them. Yeah. Because there's so many sounds that sound the same. I obviously don't yeah. do this because I'm a pack. No one does. So you can do a lot with less. Like, yeah, you're trading libraries with people. And yeah, which like, is cool. You just gotta find the stuff that you like. But, but you do gotta put in the time to find... Less yeah. is more most times. Really, though. Most. DJ Mustard made a whole career out of four sounds. Yeah. So, like, chill on your 20 gigabyte drum library. Yeah. You're not gonna use all that. I'm just gonna load up uh, some, some of my go-to sounds. This is a kick I really like. Battery loads up the waveform uh, right there. So this is a looped kick. I'm just gonna use the single one. So I'm gonna drag the loop over. Uh, another thing I like to do is zoom in on the front of it so that I can make sure it's starting right where I want it to. Let's see, uh, this is little trap snare that I like. I'm gonna drop that there and then same deal. There's a little clap that sounds good. You can tell by the waveform the sound is really quiet, so I'm just gonna turn it up over here. Let's turn it up a little. Great little feature it has. Look Let's at that. Good little hi-hat guy. Cool, that works. That there. This one's just a single shot. You don't need, I don't need to edit the end, but I'm gonna make the beginning just a little bit closer. Cool, while we're here, just take a look at these features battery has. Uh, really gives you a lot of versatility per sound. So each individual sound, you can pitch it up and down, you can set it to reverse every time you trigger it, you can affect the panning, um, you can tune it, and then it gives you filter options, compress it more. So like you can essentially mix each sound individually as you go, uh, which saves you a whole lot of real estate rather than like tracking all your sounds out individually. Uh, you can do it all in one VST. It's super, super handy. Wow, I literally need to use this more. It's pretty great. It's Honestly, pretty great. I really need to use this. This is not a video for you guys. This is a video for Josh. Yeah. Like, this is, I'm only doing this for him. So I always do, I just use samples, everything. And then if you want to go and replace something, it takes so That's, long. so that's the great part about doing MIDI drums is that sound replacement is like that. You can get at the very end of the song and go, actually, different kick. And it's literally one click, click and yeah, it's done. If you do samples, do I have to redo everything. And then you're just commanding like a f crazy person. So we got our sounds loaded up. Now let's get into actually uh, programming some drums. So in Studio One, you just get you a little slight region like that. Click this little drum guy over here. Change it from piano keys to a piano roll. So when you have the piano keys up and you're in piano mode and you add MIDI, you can change the length because it's a piano note. You would want to do that. Uh -huh. When you do it in drum mode, it adds an arrow because uh -huh. it just assumes you're going to want to play the whole sample. It saves a whole lot of clutter and thought when you're just adding drum hits. It makes it so much simpler. So this let's make me want to use Studio One. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get you. No, I'm never. You're never gonna leave Pro Tools. All right, so here's where our drums are. Uh, there are predefined kits you can pre-save in Studio One, um, but I'm just gonna name these real quick. So there's my kick, there's my clap, there's my snare, and there's my hat, and then my open hat. Bam. Uh, okay, so now we know where those are. Let's program some drums, people. So uh, I'm just deciding that at bar five, I'm gonna do uh, some Taz Taylor shit. So let's go with the hat. Great thing in Studio One is you, if uh, you get the pen going, which is like that, and you set your uh, grid 
to whatever you want it to be, you can click and drag and it'll just send your hi-hat. Drag it along. Now, if you want to vary up your velocities, which you definitely do so that it has a bounce, here's how you do it. Go to your velocity, click this tool right here. There we go. Now they're gonna vary. All right, let's put some claps on the twos and four, or on the on the three. Some snares on the ups. Maybe a little open hat on the last guy there. All right, now let me add a few triplets into the hat just to like make it a little more interesting. Add a little open hat down here. Turn that down a little bit. Oh, this is a cool trick here. So I'm gonna do a little triplet hat going into this second clap, but I wanna do it uh, I'm gonna do what's called uh, a little like kind of rising action on the hat. So same thing, go back to this tool over here. And this time select it to do that. And now it'll make it like a little velocity. Duplicate that over. Now let's have a kick start in on the action. So starting over here. Duplicate that over. Real easy. Just duplicate it. Just duplicate it. Yeah, but over here, maybe we want the kick to pattern to change just a little bit. So, like, maybe add a kick there. And then maybe over here, we have the hat start on the downbeat instead of the upbeat. It's like a little uh, video game. You're it's honestly, like that's all we're doing is playing video games. That's fun. So let's just duplicate that over. Now we got a little trappy going. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. That's it. That's how to use battery to make some drums. Yeah. I just pretty much showed you the main and effect screens. Um, but you can, if you want to get more into how you're looping your samples, the editor is a way to like dig into it even more. You can change what kind of effects you want, like which reverbs and delays. Let us know if you guys want to hear anything else about this plugin, because I need to learn it. I uh, hope you get to try it out, and maybe it'll make you stop sucking at production. <laughs> Probably not, though.